G'day everyone and welcome to the first episode for 2016 of SFNL TV and we're here for round one in the Division 3 clash, the match of the day, the new club to the competition, Lindhurst Lightning up against Hallam. We're here at Lindhurst for the very first time, fantastic facilities, still half an hour before the game, there's a huge crowd building already, a very, very exciting day, let's take a look. We're here with the president of the new Lindhurst Football Club, Andrew King. Andrew, welcome to the show. Terrific. Thanks very much for having me. Very excited. A lot of hard work done in the off-season to get a senior football club up and running at last, and today's the day. Absolutely. It's all come together, and uh, we'll see how it's going out in the park this afternoon. Terrific. And sponsors, got anybody to thank? Oh, absolutely. Like uh, the local Bendigo Bank, they're um, sensational in their support. Uh, Rain, and Hort, Rain and Horn at Lindhurst are our major sponsor as well. So we're really pleased to have them on board. And then uh, we've got the local butcher, Brian's Meat, who uh, everyone's enjoying on the barbecue today. Uh, very good. And plenty of people here today. Yeah, no, there's a bit of a crowd out there. So uh, we weren't sure how many to expect, but there's been a bit of a turnout. So it's great. Nah, terrific. All the best today. Terrific. Thanks very much. Right, well, we're here with Amanda Stapleton here, Councillor for the City of Casey, and uh, supporting the club today. Oh, indeed, and uh, extra support for the Women's Day that we're celebrating. Very inclusive club, including families and women, and uh, wonderful men that are part of this club, and going from strength to strength. No doubt about that, starting up a senior club for the first time. Strong junior club for a little while. Great to see them make that transition. So exciting, and I know that they've got other plans on the table as well, so they're always looking ahead and always got a great vision. Thanks, Amanda. Ladies Day and I've got a few of the uh, finer looking women here today, all Lindhurst supporters, who's going to win? Lindhurst. Well, that was a dumb question, wasn't it? A good Ladies Day, girls? Definitely a good Ladies Day, yeah. Plenty to eat and drink? Plenty, and as mother of the coach, Lightning's going to win. Ah, uh, go the Lightning, we've got a few popular ones here. Let's get into it. Oh, they hit their first ever goal. Here we go. The Southern Football Netball League for Lindhurst. And it's going to be Ishmael Peters. He's been the beneficiary of two 50 metre penalties so far in this. Uh, if he puts this court. one through, he could find his name under a Carlton draft lid, lads. And he comes in. And kicks the goal. Makes no mistake, there we go. Oh, and the crowd's up and about. A tries to beat the ball out. out. They've still got a chance here. The look Fifth away minutes. handball. Surely a goal coming up. Bang, finished, got it. Hallam get one back against the tide, so. They did everything in their power to stuff that up that time, and yet they still managed to come away with the goal. Just trying to see who that player was. So go forward again. He'll oh. get it here. He's got five. Oh, just, oh, one of them will get five. <laughs> He's wanted three for a goal. Shane Thomas, I think it is. Oh. Hallam victorious in the end, uh, just raining on uh, Lynnhurst Parade. I'm with the winning coach, Scott Slater. Scotty, your first win as a coach of the Hawks. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, look, the boys, we, you know, we couldn't quite get it together early, but um, we knew that, you know, Paddy and the boys were going to come at us, and uh, they certainly put up a fight. 
We're a little bit sloppy, I suppose. That's what you expect in round one until you get, come across some uh, really good defensive opposition. And, and look, they'll get better. We've been there. We know what it's like. So um, to come away with the four points and, you know, to finish the way we did shows that, you know, our, our fitness has certainly paid off. So. Andrew Daly finishes off with a few goals there, but uh, really it was a pretty even performance from your side, but a couple of injuries. Yeah, it looks like um, Chris Molner's broken his ankle or dislocated it at best, so um, yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's footy. You know, we uh, hopefully and thankfully this year we've got a little bit more depth than we've had in the past. Um, you know, I just, uh, it is a team effort. We had seven new blokes to the club in that one side today, so that's a 30 year list changed over. And, to come away, you know, as I get said, with a, you know, what, a, what it was, 53-point win was certainly satisfying in the end. So. Well done, Scotty, and good luck for the rest of the year, mate. Thanks, guys. Cheers. All right, I'm with our Black Chrome Sportswear Player of the Day, and it's Andrew Daly from the Hallam Football Club. Andrew, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and there's a little uh, present from uh, our friends at Black Chrome. Great game for you today, mate. Five goals with one right at the end there and some high fives with your mates across yeah. the fence. Yeah, I'll probably get another fine for that one as well. Um, no, it was awesome. It was an awesome game. We all played well. We all played as a team. And it's just good to see that another team's come into the comp as well. Good. And you're a uh, foundation player with Hallam. You've been since the beginning. Yep. I've been here since day one. Um, and it's awesome. We're finally getting things get together and it's all working well. New coach loves you? Yeah. Oh, sometimes. Good start to the season, mate. Well done. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. So the Hallam Football Club running out 53-point winners in the end in the first game in our league with the Lyndhurst Lightning Football Club. A spectacular day, perfect conditions, at excellent ground, great crowd, and uh, the Hawks, well, they really uh, they rained on their parade in the end, but a great day for both footy clubs. Congratulations to Scotty Slater and the Hawks, and it uh, looks like they're going to be a reasonable side this year, but expect some good things from Lyndhurst as well. So that's it from the uh, SFNL Match of the Day, and we'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.